Where's the scissors sending star? Foxy. Powder or snap, powder or snap. Shiver me to my first one. Diva. Run the scissors, run the scissors, send star, send star. Run the scissors, run the scissors, send star, send star. Run the scissors, run the scissors, send star. Powder or snap, powder or snap. Shiver to my first thousand. Shiver to my first thousand. Foxy Diva. Okay. Foxy Diva. Okay. Um, Girls, I want you to manifest at 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Make sure it's 12 a.m. my time, okay, for this other act to happen the same day. It's all add-ons, add-ons, add-ons to 12 a.m. 12 a.m. my time. Add-ons, okay, for this night, for this morning night, midnight, witching hour, okay, 12 a.m., okay, my time. But this is what's going to happen. I want you to manifest Sharon Tate and Charles Manson. I, but I, when I say this, they're going to be police officers. They're clean cut. They don't look like they were back in the day, really. Um, Sharon Tate's going to have her hair back because police officers think that her females probably have their hair back and they wear their hat and they have to be wearing that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, I want you to manifest Sharon Tate in a police uniform, modern day, Los Angeles one. And I also want you to manifest uh, Charles Minson, but he's going to look a lot younger, a slim, and his beard is going to be bushy like like that weird uh, like those uh, picture, like says uh, Charles you minds and likes you or something like that. You know, a clean cut beard. He's like he's shaded real good because you know if you're a cop can't tough stuff like that. So um, he's gonna look more clean cut, younger, clean cut looking Charles Manson. Not really much long hair. He has to have it like short. So it's gonna be like right here at his temple, like his cheekbone right there. His hair right here is gonna be long like that with a hat on. So he has to be clean cut because cops can't have long hair anyway, guys. Anyway. So he's gonna have it like pss, like that up to his cheekbone thing, and at least at least you know, he's gonna say Charles and uh, M right there and Sharon M. It's gonna say Sharon M or actually Sharon T. Actually Sharon M sounds better. Sharon Marie and Sharon Marie M <laughs> and Charles M. <laughs> okay, I want you to manifest these people at midnight at my time, and I want you to have them go to Alice Cooper's house. And I want you to knock on their door, and I want you to have these spirits knock on his door, manifesting into real people and their cops. And they're going to say, hi, Mr. Cooper, or whatever his name is. I think it's Brian. I don't know his real name, but uh, I'll find out, and I'll let you know, okay? I'll just let you know. But just for now, it's this. Uh, Mr. Cooper, we got a, a, a tip that, that you um, have been... Um, uh, tampering with a lot of the uh, mind control circuits and the um, uh, ped uh, pedophilia satanic rituals that are being done in Los Angeles. We just wanted to know that we got a warrant for your arrest. And you will, girls, may manifest a, a warrant for his arrest. I said, we got a warrant for your arrest. We know that Marilyn Manson died recently, and we know that Roman Polanski did as well. We know this lady that is here cooking. Her name's Mrs. Ambrodovich, too. She's another one that died. We were going to arrest these people, but they just dropped dead just like that. So um, the thing is what we're going to do, sir, is that we need to take you into the office of the police department, and we're going to have to make question you of some things right now. Uh, I know it's late, sir, but uh, we need to arrest you right now. I have you for questioning. So um, if you want us to read your random rights, uh, be, all my, all my, uh, be my guest. You just ask me. I mean, you, that'll be Charles Manson asking, saying that. Okay. Uh, and then Sharon Tate will say that, you know, um, and we'll interrupt a little bit and say, Mr. Cooper, we got to take you in right now. Um, you know, we got a lot of other people we got to start arresting too because of all the things in Hollywood right now. So um, we just, if you come with us, sir, right now, we'll just talk to you. And also, um, we also have some things from the asylum that you were in. Um, remember, remember, sir, you were in the asylum? Well, uh, actually, uh, something also happened too. Uh, you actually weren't even supposed to leave yet that time we actually found out that you actually had some cases of schizophrenia and some uh, tampering and hurting some of the inmate in uh, uh, patients over there so um, patients were uh, also complaining that's another reason how come that I was saying you come back I'll kill you so anyway um, <laughs> um, so anyway um, we also know that you were being mind controlled in that place too so uh, we need to question you on that as well so we'll bring you in, we'll question you, we'll see where we're going to put you. Uh, we might even put you in prison, we don't know yet. You're, you're, you're in trouble for something. We know that you've been raping Eva Green, 
Uh, we know you've been raping some other women too. We know that you confide and associate yourself and solicitate with Mr. Manson, as in Brian Warner. Uh, we know you tamper and do some things with Johnny Depp. We know you hang out with Elton John, both occultists, both people into the homosexual communities, type homosexuality and and sex, love, rock and uh, what is it called, sex, blood and rock and or sex, blood and magic type stuff. You know, hey, I'm a and and, and, and Sharon Tate says I'm a Red Hot Chili Pepper fan. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> he might think it's a joke, but it's not. And they're gonna say we're not joking. Just have Charles and Sharon say we're not joking. Uh, we joke sometimes, but this is really serious. Uh, we have a warrant for your arrest. We want you to come in right now because we're getting some complaints from the commissioner, the people that are the commissioner, the judge, people. We we were already trying to get Roman Plans who found he dropped dead by a heart attack. So we really, really need to um, um, find somebody that's responsible for this type of garbage. So you're one of them, sir. So we need to get you in, right? We already got Jack Nichols on the list, too. So, um, yeah, there's another couple people that need to put on the because they're all responsible for um, all satanic garbage. That's linked to uh, Char to Charles Manson stuff, you know, the Manson family and all stuff. But anyway, um, come with us and we'll just have a little chat with you. And when um, I want you girls to send him away in a straight jacket to any asylum known to man on earth, whatever. Send him to the one that he was at at one time if it's still there. And if it's not, send him to a modern day asylum. Send him to send him to a to a modern day asylum, uh, and, and send him in a straight jacket, and let him stay there. And he has to stay there. He'll be drugged up, sent there, and eventually he'll die there. And um, his wife, um, leave her out of it. Hash Sharon and Charles uh, put them to sleep with your girls' power, and just put her to sleep. Like that, and if the daughter's there, put her to sleep too, and that's it. And then they fall asleep, and then they have to figure out what has happened. And, then, and I wonder if her his wife is, she is okay. Well, okay. Uh, his wife is going to go in the asylum with him. Her daughter, their daughter, which is really a, a guy, uh, no, just leave her be, whatever her name is, just leave the 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 transgender uh, daughter alone. Just put her to sleep. Put her to sleep, her transgender daughter, and then just take the wife and the husband they go to the crazy asylum that he once was. And he'll meet up that guy that says, if you come back, I'll kill you. Okay? The crazy guy. He says, thanks, whatever his name is, because he kind of said on an interview. And, yeah. And that's how his story will end. He'll die there. He'll die in the same asylum with his wife. Both the cultists. End of story. Because of what he did and what his wife does and whatever his wife does, but him, he did some weird stuff to your girlfriend that quick. Because you both were in the Dark Shadows movie too. But anyway, um, that's it. That's it. That's it. Just make sure that you and your sister work on this. Make sure you get warlocks and witches, whoever they are, available still here. And that's it. I'll do a prayer. Uh, Dear Heavenly Father, I ask you to just curse your son and suffer with Jesus. Forgive all my sins. Dear Father, me and Maria, and just, uh, make sure that Mrs. Eva Joy, I mean Mrs. Eva and Joy as a Selena, do a job well done. May they be used by you to make sure that this situation is put to rest, put down, and put to justice through your son, Jesus. And may everybody, and may even Alice Cooper and his wife, repent of their sins for real through your son, Jesus. If that is allowed, amen, Father, and if these people want to. And please, my Lord, make sure that their daughter that's left there uh, find out what happened, but also to be safe to do that and to know and to be safe. And may she go to a friend's house or something and be safe there. And then whatever happens, I please console this woman or woman. Their, their daughter, and please may they seek Jesus Christ someday, if it's your will for sin. And may she be safe that just wakes up the next day. Thanks, man. Okay, girls, get to work, and make sure this is 12 a.m. Okay, thank you, Father Christ, first. Thanks, man. And thank you, ladies. Peace.